Okay. Well, you were asking about how I got interested in all of this to begin with, and it yeah. started uh, when I moved to this area, and I was a young mother at home with, um, you know, that's what young mothers did those days, stay home, take care of their children, mm -hmm. and I thought I would take a course at Northern Virginia Community College in computers. So I went over there, and I was signing up, and they said, okay, this is fine, but you have to take this permission home to get your husband's permission for you to take this course. And I said, well, that's crazy. I'm a college graduate. I, I, I don't need it. My, my husband's permission. Oh, yes, in Virginia, you need your permission, your husband's permission to take this course. Mm -hmm. So this would have been 1967, 68, 69. My daughter was just a baby, so it has to be around in that time period. Yeah. So that sort of made me think, hey, wait a second, something is wrong here. And then, of course, around that time, we had uh, Betty Friedan's books, and we had all the Gloria Steinem doing her stuff, and you know mm -hmm. the ball began to roll, and I became very interested, and so I, I joined now, and of course the big push you you talked about things being on different fronts, so of course the big mm -hmm. push was ERA, and so um, I volunteered to be on the speakers bureau, and I went around to various groups. I remember particularly a little homeowner, little home home uh, homemakers ladies group, you know, mm -hmm. ten o'clock on a Tuesday morning kind of thing, going to going to speak to them. And um, so one time when I was being, I had to take my daughter along. She was maybe about four at the time. And um, we did not do Barbie dolls in our family. I mean, we this this was a Barbie doll free household. We had that side <laughs> in my house too when I was there. Yeah. And however, we had just come back from visiting some relatives down south, and they had given her a whole big bunch of Barbie dolls. <laughs> they were about to play. so. She wanted to bring them along. So here am I, standing up there, talking about ERA and all this sort of thing. And my daughter is sitting in the back of the room playing with her Barbie dolls. And the bar, she's making ERA signs for the Barbie dolls to, <laughs> to wear. <laughs> So uh, that was uh, how, Barbie's of you know, <laughs> entry into this. This is how you can tell social change is really taking is, place, is right? happening. That's yeah. right. That's yeah. right. So that was, that was kind of one of the fun stories, I thought. Um, and I did testify in, in Richmond, as did many, many, many women from this area. You know, we had mm -hmm. busloads of people who went down there and testified. And, um, what was, it was that a, like? Well disappointing because it didn't happen yeah. and it was one of those things that I'm I felt and I'm sure others did our cause was so just and so right and so we were speaking so eloquently and we had so many issues covered and we had so many cogent argument you know uh, arguments for our side we couldn't believe that this would not pass and that it would not happen and that yeah. we couldn't persuade the the legislators in Virginia to do this and of course this happened. <clears throat> yeah. um, I think um, Illinois and Illinois was kind of the place where it really all fell apart, and uh, there were all sorts of wry jokes going around about, well, my God, oh, there'd just been some kind of um, corruption thing in, in Chicago about vote steal. <laughs> well, why didn't we just pay them off like they do in Chicago? I mean, let's <laughs> get this one way or the other. To this day, that is a good way to get business <laughs> done in Illinois. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right. So. Um, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> want to pause? Yeah. Okay. <laughs>